German people share with the beast. It would be the cunning and the predatory instinct of a hawk. But if one were to determine what attributes the Jews share with the beast, it would be that of the rat. Consider for a moment the world a rat lives in. It's a hostile world indeed. If a rat were to scamper through your front door right now, would you greet it with hostility? Has a rat ever done anything to you that would create this animosity you feel towards them? If a rat were to walk in here right now as I'm talking, would you greet it with a saucer of your delicious milk? I didn't think so. You don't like them. You don't really know why you don't like them. All you know is you find them repulsive. Consequently, a German soldier conducts a search of a home suspected of hiding Jews. Where does the hawk look? He looks in the barn, looks in the attic, he looks in the cellar. He looks everywhere he would hide. But there are so many places it would never occur to a hawk to hide. However, the reason the Fuhrer has brought me off my Alps in Austria, the place to be in French cow country today, is because it does occur to me. Because I'm aware of the tremendous feats human beings are capable of once they abandon dignity. Now, my job dictates that I must have my men enter your home and conduct a thorough search before I can officially cross your family's name on my list. That is, unless you have something to tell me that would make the conducting of a search unnecessary. I might add also that any information that would make the performing of my duties easier will not be met with punishment. Actually, quite the contrary, it will be met with reward. And that reward will be that your family will cease to be harassed in any way by the German military during the rest of our occupation of your country. <laughs> You're sheltering enemies of the state, are you not? You're sheltering them under your floorboards, aren't you? Point out to me the areas where they're hiding. any disturbance, I assume that while they're listening, they don't speak English. I'm going to switch back to French now, and I want you to follow my masquerade. Is that clear? Yeah. <laughs> Monsieur l'appétit, <laughs> je vous remercie pour le lait et votre hospitalité. Il me semble que nous avons terminé. Ah, mesdames, je vous remercie. Donc, monsieur, mademoiselle, je prends un congé de vue et je vous dis adieu